champion Joe Days of North Truro, Massachusetts, faces the challenge of Tom Osta of Southbridge, Massachusetts, on Hamilton Bowling. Hi, everybody. Welcome once again to Hamilton Bowling. I'm Don Gillis, and by now, everybody must know that this program is on videotape, that we do our taping sometimes several weeks before you see the actual telecast, and we do our taping here at the fairway on Route 9 in Natick, Massachusetts. It's always three strings of candle pin bowling with total pinfall determining our winner. The winner receives a handsome marble-based trophy from the Ace Trophy Company of Boston. The runner-up receives a smaller but otherwise identical version to indicate he was a participant on our show. Now, we have guaranteed prize money of $1,150. 700 of that goes to the winner, $300 goes to the runner-up, $50 available to the winner of each string, and obviously, should they tie, we would split that at $25 apiece. Uh, the bowler with the most marks, our marksman of the day, will receive this $50 gift certificate from True Value Hardware Stores and Home Centers, and we also have a consolation prize, uh, which we will give away to uh, the runner-up today, and that would be a set of Eagle Garden tools. All right, there are other ways for our bowlers to enrich themselves. We'll get to that after we meet today's bowlers, shall we? No, you come over here, Thomas. Over here. Yeah, I talked to Joe a little bit last week. All right, now, Tom Olsta, you I'm sure there's no deja vu for you as you come into this place and realize that uh, the last time you were on here <clears throat> as a challenger, you uh, rolled the highest three-string total in the history of our program, a 483. Uh, you have that in the back of your mind today? Well, I'll try to put it out of my mind, and I'm starting with zero again and see what I end up with. Okay, and Joseph, you know this guy fairly well. You you have been in competition in state championships and things like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's so, going to be tough. So uh, how about, are you thinking about his 483? <laughs> Trying not to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen, you're two excellent bowlers, both uh, on the Pro Tour and so forth. It should be a great match, so sit down there, and we'll get started right after this. Candlepin Bowling is sponsored in part by your neighborhood True Value Hardware Store. True Value Hardware Store's best interior paint just got even better. That's because now all three True Test Easy Care finishes, flat semi-gloss and flat enamel, are spatter resistant. So now you can give your rooms a rich, lasting coat without making a big mess. And after all, you're supposed to be painting your walls, not yourself. You'll find spatter resistant True Test Easy Care paint exclusively at most True Value hardware stores and home centers. Oh, what's the matter, honey? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, don't feel well. I don't want to talk about it. Diarrhea. I don't want to talk about it. Cramps. Try Donagel. I don't want to. Donagel relieves diarrhea fast. And Donagel has extra medicine for cramps. Others don't. Well, no diarrhea, no cramps. Honey, about the way I acted. I don't want to talk about it. Donagel, recommended by doctors and pharmacists for diarrhea and cramps. Relief worth talking about. It's been the number one sport in New England for a hundred years or more. You like our style even more today than you ever have before. No matter what your size is, you're never too small to play. For keeping trim and staying in shape, you won't find a better way. Washington's birthday car and truck sales start to look the same to you. Here's one thing to remember. Chevrolet. Because over the last five years, forget about Washington's birthday for a minute. Over the last five years, New Englanders have bought more Chevys than any other cars and trucks. So this year, you can monkey around, or you can start where more people end up. Start where more people end up. Chevy of New England. All right, getting us underway, leading off, here is today's challenger, Tom Olsta. For those of you uh, in Portland and in Providence who have not seen Tom Olsta before, uh, let me just say that he, as I indicated in my interview with him, holds the highest three-string total ever in the history of this program, which began back in October of 1958. That will give you some idea of his skill. Also in our live championship shows, those uh, which are held usually in late August, 
where we have our prize money of $20,000 and first prize, $10,000. Tom has been a winner three times. Considered by most candlepin bowlers to currently be the best. There's a spare lead for him as he has over on the right hand side the six and ten. And the first mark goes up on the board, a spare for Tom Osta. Now certainly up in the same category and very close to Tom Osta will be our defending champion, Joe Days of North Truro, Massachusetts. Another outstanding candlepin bowler. So this has the potential to be one of our best. And Joe begins with a spare. Single pin to pick up. The six pin, little piece of wood, kind of half touching it. And so he has two spares. Almost uh, with his bonus ball, a little too full. And he almost came back to make it two in a row. If uh, perhaps any of you are wondering about uh, that spare that was made by Joe Days, simply because the ball eventually did go into the gutter. But Ralph Stewart, our referee and lob line judge, called it correctly in the sense that the initial contact, the ball touched the piece of wood first, then went into the gutter. Now Joe Days. And Joe Days gets himself a terrible spare lead because he has parallel pins for the four and five, and then on the back, the seven and eight. Let's see if he can do anything with this. No wood to help. Okay, so he stops after two marks. And it's a nine box. to get a strike no a piece of wood came back against the six pin but it did not fall he's opposite a strike by his challenger Tom Olsta spare for Joe days so a lot of black marks up on the scoreboard and we love to see that the score at the end of four as we take our first check on the scoreboard with bonus balls yet to roll for each of them, two for Ulsta and one for Days, it is Ulsta 44 and Days 54. Surprise, it's the president's birthday party. And right now, Toyota dealers are celebrating with money-saving deals and a huge selection of 87 Toyota cars. Join the party, the dealing's hot. Make your best deal from stock and drive it home. Take the exciting new FX16. Dealer incentives could save you even more. Or this economical Tercel, the lowest priced Toyota. Selection, incentive savings, and lots of dealing during the birthday celebration at your Toyota dealers. Hurry! Through the cold of winter, the Lennox Pulse Gas Furnace sends gentle heartbeats of quiet, even warmth throughout your home. With the Lennox Pulse, you know you have the best. No other furnace heats like it. Meet Joe Iorio, senior and junior of Atlantic Heating and Air Conditioning, serving Greater Boston for over 25 years. Atta Atta boy, boy, Dave. Call my friend Terry of McGregor Heating and Air Conditioning for quality installations and professional service. 
Thanks, Dave. We appreciate your business. How do Pontiac buyers celebrate George Washington's birthday with cash back? Now, at your New England Pontiac dealers, factory prices have been rolled back to give you cash back savings. Cash back. Up to $800 cash back on new Bonneville's Fierro's Sunbird. Cash back. Up to $650 cash back on new Firebird. Cash back. Up to $600 cash back on new Grand Ams. Use your cash for a down payment, reduce your monthly payments, or spend it any way you wish. Celebrate George Washington's birthday at your New England Pontiac dealers. Challenger Tom Osta on the line now. And remember, he has a strike up on the board. Two bonus balls. As a split of the four, seven on the left and the six on the right. Wood in front of each. Nine is the fill. And uh, he'll be trying to make this a ten box. He did. Hoping now to make a nine out of this. With the two, three, six. Instead, he gets the six, the three, excuse me, leaves the two and six. Joe Day's coming up now. He's working on a spare, and he gets a fill of seven. Leaves the one, six, ten. Just the six. Nine box. Now the four seven on the left, six ten on the right. Took out the four seven. Still a couple of more there. A ten box. Now Tommy Olster coming up. Half Worcester right. He was not working on a mark, so. It, uh, it didn't hurt as much as obviously it would have. Ralph Stewart, our lob line judge and referee, calls time. He wants to take a piece of wood, which apparently is going to roll, well, it already has rolled this side of the deadwood line. It has to be removed. And Tom put that one into the gutter. So it's a seven. Strike, he comes back with in the eighth. Now Joe Days. He leaves, uh, well, he got a seven, but he leaves himself a kind of a tough one with the two and four and six. Trying to just brush against that two pin and kick it over to the six, but he didn't touch it. A 
It's a nine. On the opposite side, this time he has three six and then the four over on the left. So it's a reverse of his previous one. He kicked over a piece of wood and thought he was going to get the four pin, but it didn't work. Nine box. 98. Now Tommy Olsto with a strike up on the board. Two boxes to go, has an opportunity to take the lead with a couple of bonus balls here. He's 10 pins behind in completed pinfall. First bonus ball. That gets him eight. Now if he can knock down these two, which happen to be the three and the ten. Can he do it? Yes. All right. So that ties him in at the moment at 98 with Joe Days. However, he has a bonus ball to roll in the night. And that is a big bonus ball as he gets a nine pin drop. One pin to pick up. That's the eight pin. And to the surprise of just about everyone, he missed it. And that is a rarity. And also, it's a great compliment to Tom Olsta in the sense that everyone was truly surprised that he missed it. Joe Days now at 98. Half Worcester left. everything except the five and nine and he scared the nine a little bit it started trembling and looked for a moment as though it might fall into the five and give him the spare now a piece of wood rolling around and he must as you know in the strict rules of candlepin bowling to which we adhere rigidly he must wait till it stops moving it's a 10 108 He did not get the spare leave that he wanted. He has three pins still standing. Three and six, but over on the left, there's the four, parallel with that six. No. So Tom Osto will be the winner of the first string and will get $50 in bonus money. It's an eight for Joe Days. There you see our two bowlers. Tom Osta wins the $50 for being the winner of the first string. And we'll move on into the second. With an 11 pin lead for Tom Osta, 127 to 116. Uh, I came for your low priced muffler. This is the one. Oh. It's some bargain. Guaranteed to grab you. <laughs> $18, right? Oh, it won't fit your car. For your car, it's gonna cost more. Did <laughs> <laughs> you have a bad dream, honey? I'm gonna go to Midas. Save yourself the nightmare. Get the right muffler for the right price. Take it to Midas. Now, a quality interior paint that's as practical as it is beautiful. The True Test Easy Care line from True Value Hardware Stores. Like Easy Care Latex Semi Gloss, it's scrubbable, so most messes will clean up as if they were never there. So forget about spatters and stains and damage from steam and moisture. With Easy Care Latex Semi Gloss paint from participating True Value hardware stores and home centers. Jeep Cherokee has just been reborn. It can now be ordered with a four liter, six cylinder, 173 horsepower engine. Nothing in Cherokee's class even comes close. In fact, with this engine and a choice of two or four doors, 
and do shift on the fly four-wheel drive systems, you could say nothing's in Cherokee's class. Stick with my team, the New England AMC Jeep Renault dealers. You can't miss. This is the middle string. That means our defending champion leads it off, and he is Joe Days of North Truro, Massachusetts. Out on Cape Cod. He has the two, five, seven, and eight. And everything went except the five. Got a few notes in the mailbag that I'll try to get to. One in particular comes from Verna Freeman of York Beach, Maine. And she says, I am the lady who is legally blind. Going to write later, tell you how I'm doing with my bowling. And uh, we talked about that once before, how she uh, places herself and, uh, and and also has a, goes a lot by the sound too. Nice spare for Joe Days. So our thanks to Verna. We'll get to some of the others as we move along, but right now, let's get to Tommy Olsta. Tommy gets himself, oh, he just about had a strike as a piece of wood rolled over against this, the lone standing pin, the seven, and rocked it for a moment. Now the wood is rolling away from it. He has the seven pin piece of wood is out just about where the number two pin would be. On your split screen, you'll see what he's going for. Boy, whoo, a sigh of relief on that one as he hit it a little too sharply to the left and it was spinning and looked as if it was going to miss that seven pin, but then at the last second caught it. So it is a spare. has a strike on top of his spare. I told you there are other opportunities for our bowlers to enrich themselves. Three marks in a row. Any combination of strikes or spares in the same string establishes a bonus of $50. And each subsequent consecutive mark after those three is worth $50 apiece. Joe Days rolling on his spare winds up with the one and uh, the, no, excuse me, it's the five and seven. Tough one. He moved it, but boy, I'll tell you, when that five is in there that deep, it's hard to move it enough to the left in order to catch the seven. So it's a 10 box. Two, no wood, so it is two, four, seven, and ten. He gets the three on the left. Ten. All right, Tom Oster coming up now with two marks in a row. First bonus ball on a strike. All except the six pin. Going for three marks in a row. He has it. So that establishes $50 in bonus money for Tom. Actually, of course, it makes it 100 because he had 50 for winning the first string. Now, each subsequent consecutive mark in this string will be worth $50 a piece, and should he at some time put together three strikes in a row, there will be an additional bonus of $1,000 for having three strikes in a row. He has a nine drop, the five pin, the king pin, the only one to pick up to make it four marks in a row. He has it, four marks in a row. And now, once again, we take a check on the scoreboard. 
Here in the second, after four boxes, it is Tom Ost to 69 with a bonus ball to roll. Joe Day's 48. What are you missing if you're not renting to own at Rent-A-Center? A great deal. Get a free microwave when you rent to own any of these appliances from Rent-A-Center for just $16.95 a week. Choose this Whirlpool refrigerator or this full-size washer and dryer or this Speed Queen portable washer and dryer. Rent any of these appliances and get a microwave absolutely free. And if you're not happy, you get back your first week's rent. It's a great deal. Don't miss it. Call now. Rent-A-Center. Count on us for a great deal. A doo da a doo da well, the boy genius. You trying to find out why Kentucky Fried Chicken is America's favorite chicken? Then pay attention, son. Folks just love going to the Colonel's because no one else makes chicken with that special blend of 11 herbs and spices. Any of this getting through to you, son? And of course, no one else's chicken is finger-licking good because nobody else knows the Colonel's secret formula. The secret formula! Kid's too smart for his own good. Kentucky Fried Chicken, we do chicken right. I appeal to the intelligence of a nation in asking you to give pause and consider the opportunity before you. An opportunity to save generously on quality built Ford cars and trucks, to find real values on the vehicles that drive America. Now at the President's Celebration at your Ford dealers. Here's our defending champion Joe Days on the line to roll in the fifth frame. He's left with a triangle, which is made up of the two, four, and five. Made it, and he has a spare. Joe won his title last week by rolling a 397 and defeating Hugh Ferguson's 394. It was that close, three pins. He has a strike on his spear. Tom Osta has four consecutive marks. $150 in bonus money, 100 of it right here, and 50 for winning the first string. Another big fill. All but one pin, a big nine fill. He has the three pin with wood in front of it. Make that five marks in a row. Tom with a league average of 130, a high single of 209 and a high triple of 496. That time, he's going to be tested this time because he has on the left the two, four, seven, but he also has the three pin there. Wood beside the three pin, alongside it. He will try to presumably use the wood and the three pin, make it go from right to left to take out the three pins. Let's see if he can do it. He's going after it. No, it didn't work. Okay, he's open right now. And again, Ed Zernike's record is intact, as basically is Rosario Lechiara's. Rosario Lechiara being the first to have a mark in every single box. It was topped by Ed Zernike in the, in the effect that he had a mark in every box. And then, with a strike in the 10th, he rolled a spare in the 11th. Or maybe it was vice versa, but whatever it was, it was 11 consecutive marks. Just missed Joe Days as he has a nine for a fill. He was trying to make it three marks in a row, but the seven pin would not go. I'm sure that somebody will tell me exactly how Ed Zernike's thing went. And I know one guy who will, that's his father, Tony Zernike. Too full that time for Joe Days. Joe 
representing the Orleans Bowling Center. He has a league average of 122, a high single of 202, and a high triple of 448. It's an eight box. Tom also with a, an excellent middle string going. And he appears determined to try to get some more marks up on the board. He has a single pin to pick up. It is the six. $200 in bonus money already. Right on it, another spare. Now at 114 and a bonus ball to roll. How many more? He's got some rocking pins. He has two left. The one and the two. Tom is a bowling alley manager and represents the Hippodrome Lanes in Southbridge. He's the father of two, Kerry and Tom Jr. Joe Days was the runner-up in the NBA 1986 state tournament. In the all events, runner up to Danny Murphy. Joe is married and father of two boys. He had a couple of hundred dollars in bonus money last week. So far today, none. Four horsemen left side and the 10 pin and a piece of wood behind the one, which he probably hoped to use. Nope, it didn't go. He got the four pins on the left, the four horsemen, and he moved that piece of wood, but it went too far this way and didn't get the 10. So it's a 10 box. Joe had a 116 opener. As I told you, his league average is 122. That's a split. Four, seven, six, ten. Finally, he made it. It was a slow process before that seven went down. But the important thing was he made it. So he's at 125. One bonus ball to roll, and he hopes it's a fat one. Not so fat, just four pins. 129. So he'll be one pin over his average after two. Now Tom Olsta waiting for the pins to be reset. Again, working on a spare and has an excellent string going. Is he going to get a strike out of it? No, but he gets a nine pin drop. He has the nine pin in the back with wood. Wood right alongside it. One fifty one and counting. Obviously has won another fifty dollars for winning this string. Since he's already surpassed the total of Joe Day's. Bonus ball. And all right, he has an inverted triangle, but he has some wood that may help if it gets over there near the inverted triangle. He's at 165 right now and hoping to make it another mark. He did! Oh, a sensational performance by Tom Osta. $300 in bonus money. And 
this is five more. One seventy three. Already at three hundred. There it is. After two, Tom Olsta, three hundred, Joe Days, two forty five. This is Hawaii, paradise found. Aloha, I'm Ed Hogan, owner of Pleasant Hawaiian Holidays, where we make paradise affordable. This is Pleasant's low price for a full week in Waikiki. It includes airfare and hotel, and all the paradise you can handle. Stop dreaming and start packing. Pleasant Hawaiian Holidays make paradise affordable. If the label on a paint can looks like it's been written in a foreign language, let your True Test paint specialist help decipher it. Just look for the painting help spoken here sign at your nearby True Value hardware store. It means that someone is specially trained to answer your questions on different types of paints, how to apply them, and what colors to choose. That way, the True Test paint you select will be perfect for your home and lifestyle. All you need to know is where to find painting help, your True Value hardware store or home center. Make a wish, it's a president's birthday party. So get down to your Toyota dealer now. He's making sweet deals and could save you big bucks on America's number one selling compact trucks. With dealer incentives on every Toyota truck, cargo, or panel van, you sweeten your deal even more. This tough standard bed is Toyota's lowest priced truck. Your deal could drive it even lower. Selection, incentive savings, and sweet deals during this birthday celebration at your Toyota dealers now. Tom Olsta leading off in the third, today's challenger, after having just rolled a 173. And obviously, he wants to get back into our True Value Championship show, which is in the last week in August. First prize, $10,000. He's a three-time winner of that. And uh, of course, the qualifications are the five bowlers with the highest three-string total. Missed the spare with the highest three-string total since the last show would be the participants. And Tom was top-seeded this past year with his 483. If you're wondering about that 173 and where does it uh, come from some of our high singles in the past, it is not in the top group. I'll get to that in a moment. Let's see what Tom does. He has a strike. Ed Zernike with a 197 is the best. Jim Barber with a 191. Pete Iannuzzo with a 190. Jim Kelly with a 186. Tom Senemi and Fred Spintig each with a 182. That's the top five. Joe Days. He's left with the one, three, six, seven, and eight. And he made it. That's a beautiful spare. No wood to help. A beauty. Yes. One, three, six, seven, and eight. No wood. Missed the head pin, and he's unhappy about it, so he has five for a fill. Four horsemen plus the eight pin, which makes it tough. Didn't go. He still has three there. Tom hoping to, as I said before, almost to try to get into our top group. Peter Flynn has the top seed right now with a 435. Richard Hawk Hallis with a 422 is third. Beth Peterson with a 408 is in third place. Then comes Jack Sanek at 398 and Joe Days with his 397, which he rolled last week. Tom Olsta's first bonus ball and gets very little, just four. But he gets all the rest of them.
Well, if he's going to do this, all right. Now, he has the four pin and the 10 pin. Two pieces of wood around the four. He's going to try to move it over to get the 10. See if he can do it. He did. What a shot. What a shot. A beautiful shot. Beauty. Oh, and three marks in a row and another $50 in bonus money. $400 in bonus money right now for Tom Olsta. Now, our defending champion, Joe Days. A little too full on the head pin. It's a 10 box. Janie Cartier is keeping score on that big scoreboard today, and Keith Williams is keeping score beside me. Joe Days. And he gets a terrible spare leave in the sense of having a parallel pins, four and five, nine and 10. Ralph Stewart, our lob line judge and referee, in his accustomed spot, all dressed up with that fancy Argyle sweater and those uh, black and white spectator shoes. All right, Ralphie. Joe Days tried to use a piece of wood that was over on the left in order to take these parallel pins. Got nothing. So now he will see what he can do and maybe get three of them. He did. So it's a nine. Now let's see what Tommy Olson can do. He's already up to $400 in bonus money. And of course, there's an extra $100 if he rolls a 400. And he is over halfway to that now, as far as this string is concerned. Starting off with three. Okay, he has an eight pin drop, and now the one and the 10 to pick up for another $50 in bonus money. One and 10. A rolling wood. Nine. Seventy five. Needs just twenty five more pins for four hundred, an extra one hundred dollars, and then see how far over four hundred he can go. Too full that time on the head pin, so he winds up with almost a spread eagle. He has the three pins on the left and two on the right. Just one of them coming out of there. It's an eight box. 83. Joe Day's coming up now. Joe, no bonus money today. He's put a couple of marks together on more than one occasion, but not three. Didn't like that, turned away, knew he was going to miss the head pin. And winds up with a one, eight, ten. Wood in front of the eight. One and eight down, but the 10 is still there. I'm so grateful when people uh, send me like Elsa Berglund uh, from uh, the senior citizens place in Malden, number 557 sent me a note and uh, was saying how Mrs. Kinsman is losing her eyesight and is most grateful because I describe the pins as uh, you know I do. I know that for television, I'm talking too much, but I do it for those folks who cannot see or have limited sight because they have asked me to do it, okay? And I always appreciate when I get notes from you folks to assure me that it is something that is helping somebody. Nine box. Oh, 
almost up. Four boxes to go. Already at 83. He has a diamond to work on if he's going to make a spare. It's the diamond on the left side. Two, four, five, and eight. And nope, the diamond won this time, as it does most of the time. One more acknowledgement from Henry Burt of Longmeadow, who also thanks me for describing the pins because of the failing eyesight. Again, almost a little too full on the head pin. Needs three more pins for a 400. And he almost made us, maybe he's going to, nope, but it was rocking, one pin still standing. However, he's over 400 and he gets another $100 in bonus money. It's a 10. $500 in bonus money. Joe Days has the four horsemen left side to work on. No, missed it. Our challenger next week is Al Johnson from the Springfield area. And Joe has to settle for a nine box. So you folks who are watching us in the Springfield area will see two of your own next week. With Tom Ulster being challenged by Al Johnson. Joe Days now with a five, seven, and ten, and a lot of wood down there. Phil Rubin is our producer and director and the guy who keeps this together. Don Riley is our coordinator and statistician. Joe just waiting for the wood to settle down. And he still leaves one pin. It goes, and now he's at 80. Tom Olsta, 22 pins ahead. Okay, Tom has two more boxes, and he is at 402. Trying to move now past, he's moved past Joe Days and Jack Senek. Trying to move now past Beth Peterson. He just did. With that pinfall, he is right now at 411. One pin to knock down to make it 412. He did. 412. And counting, of course, because he has a bonus ball and another box to go. For 22 and a strike with two more bonus balls to roll. Give him $50 right now for winning that string. That's up to $550 in bonus money. But right now he is at $422 with two bonus balls to roll. That ties him with Rich Hallis right now. Going after Peter Flynn's top spot of $435. Okay. He's just added six more. Four. 38, 4, 438, 441. That's right, 441. 441. He is now top seed for the True Value program, which he seems to own. Joe Days has a single pin to pick up.
It is behind the Deadwood line. That's why it must stay there, and Joe must work using it. All right, spare now for Joe Days. Seven. That's the fill. Ninety seven. They're going to go. No, it didn't. So he needs this for a one oh seven. And he will not have rolled his average. Congratulating Tom Olsta and Tom, a very happy man as he becomes our top seed with a 441. There it is, 441 to 352. We'll be right back. Armor remembers. Remember when you lost your first tooth? you thought you'd really miss it. But when it turned into a quarter, you didn't miss it so much. Well, today there's Armour's lower salt meats and cheeses, and you're afraid you'll miss that salt. Mmm, same great Armour taste, lower salt and all. Now that's something you can sink your teeth into. Lower salt bacon, ham, meats, and cheeses from Armour. Here's Jerry with a new car. Why'd you pay for it? About 5500 Are you kidding? Uh, does it run on batteries? Does it have a motor? Does it have a motor? Can I kick the tires? <laughs> Will the door come off the hinges? Hey, guess what? It's a Subaru! Oh, a, a Subaru. Subaru! Subaru! Only one inexpensive car is built like a Subaru. Introducing the Subaru Justy. Such a smart boy! Every Subaru, including the Justy, is a great deal during your dealer's Washington's birthday clearance. Oh. What's the matter, honey? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, don't feel well. I don't want to talk about it. Diarrhea. I don't want to talk about it. Cramps. Try Donagel. I don't want to... Donagel relieves diarrhea fast. And Donagel has extra medicine for cramps. Others don't. Well, no diarrhea, no cramps. Honey, about the way I acted... I don't want to talk about it. Donagel, recommended by doctors and pharmacists for diarrhea and cramps. Relief worth talking about. Our match was so exciting, I really didn't have time to even mention the Camelton jackpot. There's $150 in it, and in case somebody is watching for the first time, as you, uh, I, I'm well aware of the fact that we're on a few more stations now, uh, th what we're doing here is asking you, the viewer, to send us on a card, not a letter, and we limit you, please, to just one card per day. Uh, but in that card, we want you to try to guess what the total pinfall would be, both bowlers combined, on a day that you would hope I would draw your card, and then... Uh, like, for example, today, now it's 793. That's the combination of the two bowlers today. But we'll give you 10 either side, so that means that anybody from 803 to 783 would be the winner of the $150 that is in here now. And if, nope, we, uh, if, we, if we don't come anywhere close, then obviously uh, we'll add $50. And we keep doing that every week until somebody finally does get within that 10-pin range. However, remember this. Well, first, I'll tell you where to send it. Send it, please, to, with your name and address, to Candlepin Bowling, WCVB-TV, 5 TV Place, Needham, Massachusetts, and the zip code number is 02192. All right? Now, when I draw a card here, remember, even if it's nowhere near that 793, and there's a strong possibility it won't be because we don't very often have a total that high of both bowlers combined, that person will be rewarded anyway with several prizes. For example, those prizes today will be these. Two cassette tapes from RCA Records, First, the latest album from America's favorite singer, Kenny Rogers. They don't make them like they used to. And from Samantha Fox, her latest album, Touch Me. And Monsieur Hubegard Musk Cologne, a primal appeal below the level of consciousness, makes it the world's most wanted musk. Stirring and sophisticated, there's no musk like it from Hubegard. And an Alyssa Ashley Musk spray and dusting powder set. The most sensuous fragrance a woman could wear. It blends with your body chemistry, so it's extra enticing. 
All right, let's see now if we have anybody near that totem. We'll dig in here somewhere and find one. And uh, this is from uh, Marvin Mills of Rockport, Massachusetts. The guess is seven fifty. So next week, this will be worth $200. But Tom Oster, you already have $550 in bonus money plus the $700. There's $1,000 down there if you can knock those three pins down. Oh, Joseph. Joseph, it's still there. It's still there. Okay, you stay here, please, and Tom, come on up. I like it. You come here and let Tom be right behind you there. Uh, all I can give you is three hundred dollars today, huh? Yeah, it was a tough one. Really bad. <laughs> well, I know you're disappointed because you didn't even roll your average, which I mean is an excellent average. And look, you, you're going to get the smallest version of this. But remember, you are still the runner-up to Danny Murphy in the state all events. Don't yeah, forget right. that, all right? <laughs> it was a pleasure having you here. And good luck, in North Truro, and lots of, uh, of tourists coming down and using those cottages, OK? So. All right. Thomas, you did it. You came here to be top seed. That's what you had in the back of your mind. I, you don't kid me. I know darn yeah, well. <laughs> you want to hit something. The last time when you were here, you wanted to be top seed. You did it with a 483. Of course, today, you had to settle for just a 441. Thank you. <laughs> I guess so. All right. Well, you know, obviously, that you have just walked away with everything here. You have the large trophy from the Ace Trophy Company. You are our marksman of the day, so you get this $50 gift certificate from True Value Hardware Stores. And speaking of True Value Hardware Stores, you are top seed now for our next show, uh, which will be in late August. $10,000 first prize. You're very familiar. Won this darn thing three times. And you had $700 for winning and $550 in bonus money. And now all the folks in Springfield can watch you and Al Johnson go at it next week. Should right? be a good one. Should be, right. You join us, too, will you? Don Gillis for the whole crew. We'll see you then. Bye-bye, everybody.